how can you fight these big monopolies and and win these policies over? Well, the it's going to be very hard is what is the you know usual sort of disclaimer for all this. But the, the best reason to believe that we can do it now is that we've done it before. If you go back and we look at it in, in saving capitalism, if you go back to the Gilded Age, the robber barons of the late 1880s, 1890s, conditions were terrible, terrible, and people couldn't see a way out of it. Well, we had a progressive era that started in 1900. Teddy Roosevelt, a very wealthy uh, you know, uh, a very wealthy guy um, sort of saw that this was a, a danger, not just to the ec economic long term future of America, but also to the democracy uh, of America. And we had a series of rules that changed over time. The 40 hour work week, the, you know, chi no child labor law, uh, you know, childs weren't weren't allowed to exploit uh, children in working conditions, things like that, that sort of changed. Um, slowly, uh, one rule at a time, over, say, a period of from 1900 to about 1914, and again, picked up, you know, in the kind of, you know, after the Great Depression in the, in the you know, 1930 or so. So what the only thing that I can say that gives me hope, or one of the things that I say that gives me hope is that we've done it before, that we've mm -hmm. been through very dark periods in American history when capitalism has essentially gone off the rails, and we've gotten that capitalism, that, that economic system, whatever you want to call it, back on the rails before. It's been this bad before, and we've fixed it. And we've faced down strongman dictator types in America, and we've gotten rid of them and, and you know, toyed with uh, this kind of extremist leadership before. And we've gone to genuine positive social change every time in America. My hope is we do it again. Um, you know, we're at an incredibly dangerous time in America. Everybody knows it. This, this sense of Donald Trump being a kind of unstable strongman dictator in the, in the kind of um, model of something you might see in Latin America in previous years or in, in dangerous, what we associate with dangerous parts across the globe is real. Mm -hmm. He's that, this is that unnormal, he's that unstable. He's not a normal conservative, principled conservative, which I think not, you know, I wouldn't personally vote for, but would be much happier with somebody like Mike Pence than, than this guy. So we can't normalize just how, how dangerous this time is and be Pollyannish about our ability to kind of fix the system, but we have to know that we've done it before so that we don't get too defeated. Because I think if we get too defeated, if we get too cynical, if, uh, you know, there is this danger of people unplugging. You see this kind of mix with people on the left when they're uh, some mix of the most energized that they've ever been in my lifetime, uh, which is incredibly exciting, and in danger of sort of burning out because mm -hmm. they feel like it's it's sort of out of their reach. So what you need, I think, is, you know, what we tried to provide in a film like Saving Capitalism is, you know, that kind of balanced historical look at that we've done this before, that it's not hopeless, but also that it's a really scary time, because I think that's all true.